Whether you are a beginner developer coding for the first time or a current developer coming from a different text editor, i.e. Sublime, here are five useful tips to know when starting out using Adobe's Dreamweaver. So we're going to kick it off with the most useful in my opinion, which is word wrap. If you can see up here in my footer.php file of my lovely website to the side here, the text is going off of the frame. And rather than having to use this bar at the bottom and having to drag and have a look at what it is to be able to edit it, what I would prefer is the if the text would automatically drop to the next line. And the way that we can do that is by going to view and then code view options and enabling word wrap. And as you can see, it's dropped it to the next line. Moving on to tip number two, suppose you wanted to delete part of your code. You would technically think the quickest way to do this would be to highlight the code and then just to backspace it, right? Well, no, there is a quicker way of doing this and that is by simply click, uh, clicking on the number which is down the side um, in line with that certain line that you want to delete. So for example, if I wanted to delete um, my WP footer line of code, I could easily just click on number 11 and then just click backspace and it would delete it. But let's undo that for now. I have noticed that there is a little bit of unnecessary space we don't need um, not number 10 and number 9 line number 10 and num line number 9 I can just click on 10 click and hold all the way up to 9 maybe even 8 and then I can do a quick backspace and this would delete all three lines so indeed this does turn out to be a much quicker way of deleting your lines of code. Moving on to tip number three, you can easily use these three buttons at the top, code, split and live to show different views of your code. So code, it shows all of your code, only the view of your code. So you can just see your code, all of your code. And I like this myself because I already have a pretty good idea of how, what my code is going to um, display but I can also use the split button which shows a general idea because I'm using PHP and uh, WordPress it's not going to show it how, how it's going to actually show like how it shows it on my um, browser but it will give me a general idea of how it's going to uh, display and, and I can also use, or I can also use the uh, live button, which shows me the well the split option, but with the design view in full effect. But if you're someone like me who likes to see the live results to the right or to the left or on a different monitor, then I tend to have it always set to code, and then I can just go through all my files here and. I can view them. That is some terrible structure going on there. I need to sort that out. <laughs> um, I can just view them here and then I can just view the effects live on the right of my screen because it's a big 24 inch display. On to tip number four. Let's suppose you have forgotten how to insert an image, a hyperlink or a div or some sort of code. There is actually a quicker way than Googling it and copying and pasting the code from some random website. What you can do is you can actually go to insert at the top here and you can basically choose it. So if I wanted to add in a table, I could click table and in this little box I can add how many rows, uh, the width of it in pixels, the border thickness, uh, any padding, a uh, number of columns up here. Just click OK and it adds it in there for me. Let's now have a look at the other ones that there are. So you do have um, you got a hyperlink down there which can be useful. That's a commonly forgotten one I'm sure. Um, D 
div uh, paragraph uh, article section footer and if you go on the HTML right here you have even more options to choose from which is pretty handy so yeah there's a lot to choose from um, it's just good if you for if you've forgotten it how to do it and it puts it in there for you straight away not too much messing about just quicker than uh, having to google it yourself so that's four tips down and now moving on to the final tip uh, this is actually a very handy little tool within dreamweaver which allows you to view your website inside a uh, internet browser just straight from a little icon within dreamweaver and the way that you do this is basically going down to the little globe icon which is right right at the bottom of your dreamweaver window clicking on this will bring up as many of the internet browsers you have indeed installed on your computer so i only have safari and google chrome so i can click preview in safari and it will show me my website previewed um, like it does on the right of the screen right now and i can also preview it in google chrome there is also a quicker way of doing this and that is by actually on mac you can hold down alt and f12 and it brings up brings it up straight away um and on pc i believe it's just f12 or the function key um, and then f12 and that should uh, work for you function key being the key that just has an fn on it so there you go guys there are five handy dreamweaver tips that you can now use um and abuse <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and it's been george here from fuller designs it if the video helped you leave a like um leave any comments of any questions you may have and subscribe for more videos thanks and peace